Welcome back to another edition of JD's YouTube. Uh, this week's top eight is top week, uh, top eight Marvel week. Today's countdown is top eight Marvel superheroes. Let's jump in. Uh, coming in at number eight is Scarlet Spider-Man. Uh, this variation of Spider-Man is the one I like the most. I like the costume the most. Um, it is a clone of Peter Parker. And, um, yeah, it's just awesome. So, number eight. Uh, number seven is Iron Man. When I was little, I didn't like Iron Man. He was too cocky. <laughs> uh, but Robert Downey Jr. has made me change my ways of thinking of Iron Man. He played it perfect. And then watching him grow over these films, he just, there is no other Iron Man. So, number seven. Um, number six will be a recurring theme. I kind of like the anti-heroes. <laughs> uh, Winter Soldier. Oh, come on. He's got a metal arm. He's Cap's best friend. Uh, at one point, he does pick up the mantle as Captain America. He's just really cool. <laughs> uh, he's portrayed portrayed really good in the movies and um yeah number six uh number five is the punisher just badass uh got a fan full of weapons he don't care he ain't got no superpowers he'll still kick in the front door and, and kill whoever needs to be killed again anti-superhero um the netflix punisher was fantastic I didn't really like the movies, but Netflix picked the right man for the job and did that superhero justice. So, number five. Uh, coming in at number four is Gambit. It's one of the superheroes. I wish I had his ability, his powers. Um, I really wanted a Gambit movie. Gambit was one of my favorite characters in the animated TV show. Uh, his, him and Rogue's relationship was like a point for me. Will they, won't they? <laughs> um, he's just all cool. His accent is cool. And he's just a really sly guy. Now, coming in at number three is Captain America. I watched Captain America... Um, forever. I watched the original movies. Were, weren't as good, but I still, I still, I love Captain America. I had the original, or the earlier toys of Captain America. He just is awesome. A man, or a guy that stands up for truth and justice in the American way. So, um, and the way he's portrayed by, um, Chris Evans in these movies is awesome. I should say, really good job. Uh, number two is Deadpool. <laughs> um, Deadpool is, was my favorite person in the comic books. The only one of the only people to break the fourth wall. And then when Ryan Reynolds sent out that leaked trailer for the first Deadpool movie, I went absolutely nuts. He was perfect for it. He wanted to redeem himself. He did that and beyond. He did that character justice. And, oh my god, that color scheme, that smart ass, it, that's one of my... He comes really close to my favorite Marvel superhero. And he's best friends with my favorite super Marvel hero. Uh, coming at number one is Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine's just a badass. And... Over angry midget badass. <laughs> uh, Hugh Jackman did really good in playing Wolverine. He is my favorite iteration. Um, I know they're gonna have to replace him. He's getting up there, but I'm pretty sure. Fingers crossed. Giving in the Disney's hands, they will do the right thing with that character. Um, I overlooked the fact that uh, Hugh Jackman's about a foot taller than Wolverine in the comic books because he did such a good job 
and um, Logan, the movie Logan is one of my favorite rated R superhero, one of my favorite superhero movies of all time, but one of my favorite, also one of my favorite rated R movies of all time. So Wolverine has always been my favorite character. The healing ability, the claws in his hand, the just not caring that his suit is yellow. <laughs> Oh man, it's just my favorite character. And with that being said, love you all. JD out.